step out of the vehicle for me. Okay. Hands out of your pocket. He looked right into the camera and said, our officer did nothing wrong. What are you Cops ready to kill him right there. The guy hasn't even recovered from being thrown on the ground yet. Or they have to be bludgeoned to death. Oh, shut your mouth. You want to say, oh, I served my country for 25 years? He didn't serve. He served himself. Good evening. How you doing, sir? Good. Bzz, stop right there. Stop right there. So he says, hi, sir, how you doing? What should he have done instead? He should have immediately pulled his trifold down, given him his license, registration, and proof of insurance, and then immediately said, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. That's what he should have done, but that's not what he did, and it's going to cost him his life. I'm Sergeant Iverson, the Russ County Sheriff's Office. Yes, sir. The reason I pulled you over is you blew that stop sign back there. No, I didn't. I came to a complete stop with that stop sign. All right. It's not going to do you any good. I mean, I did. I, I, did. I, I came to a stop. No, you didn't. So. What do you mean? I mean, what do you mean? Then? You step out of the vehicle for me. Okay. I mean. Can you show, I mean, can you show me that I, I blew? Step out of the stop. Okay. Okay. And boy, this guy's just the epitome of health right here, isn't he? I'm just wondering. Turn around, put your hands right there real quick. You got anything on you? You should keep your okay. hands out of your no, pocket. I, I wasn't. Creepy. I, I don't have anything on me, officer. Put your hand behind your back. Officer, I don't have anything put your on hands me. Behind your back. I'm officer. Why are you, why, uh, can you just tell me, officer, please, can you tell me what I'm under arrest for, please, please. Oh, please. Get out. Why did he shoot the guy? <laughs> he just shot a dude for no reason. Officer, please, can you tell me what I'm under arrest for, please, please. So he wants to know why he's under arrest. Cop throws him on the ground. He doesn't reach for anything. Hands aren't going anywhere. He gets thrown on the ground here. Rolls over it. Cop's ready to kill him right there. The guy hasn't even recovered from being thrown on the ground yet. Get out. The guy's running away. Both of his hands are in plain view. Get out. Chili, you're disrespectful to the cops. The way you talk about cops is so disrespectful. What is worth respecting here? Dude, you okay? Five Seventeen County. Hey, uh, I need an ambulance. Call everybody. I've got a, a shooting. Hurry up! I need an ambulance. I can't get out of my radio. Okay, I'll get him out there. A day after the release of dash cam video showing a deadly officer involved shooting, attorneys for the deputy are defending his actions. They argue the video alone does not tell the whole story. 
Our officer did absolutely nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He looked right into the camera and said, our officer did nothing wrong. Maybe it's the policies, procedures, and protocols that you and I have allowed to be perpetuated against us that is the problem. This piece of shit right here is par for the course. He fits in with all the other shit in the pig trough. He's perfect for them. Attorney Robert Davis represents the Russ County Sheriff's Office and former Sergeant Shane Iverson, the deputy who pulled over Timothy Michael Randall in September 2022 for allegedly running a stop sign at the four-way in Turnertown. Along with the dash cam video released yesterday, we're now seeing the stop from a different viewpoint, captured on the deputy's body cam. Attorneys for the sheriff's office say what the video does not show is an open container of alcohol in the console. Oh, my God. I, shit. He had an open container? Well, then kill his ass. Kill his ass. He's got an open container? He's got an open container? You need to kill him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, listen to what the press just said. Listen to what a member of the lying state-run media just said. Attorneys for the sheriff's office say what the video does not show is an open container of alcohol in the console. So how does that justify him murdering the guy? Spotted by the deputy. Oh, they spotted an open container of alcohol. That justifies him killing him. Makes a lot of sense. Now that they found the open container and he got murdered, man, it makes a lot of sense to me. Around, put your hands right there real quick. They also point out Randall appears to put something in his pants when he exits the car. At this point, the view from the body cam becomes obscured, and it stays that way through the shooting. As the officer starts doing the pat-down, he feels an item that is very similar to a small 22 pistol. There's a lot of makes and models out there, but they're tiny. They would fit in my hand. The item Iverson thought was a gun ended up being a glass pipe something they say could have felt like a small gun. Oh, my God. In what bozo clown world are you talking about where a small glass pipe feels like... A... <laughs> just, just such a load of shit on a stick. You're sitting there pissing on me and telling me it's raining. It's just so ridiculous. A, a tiny little... He's probably doing meth probably smoking meth or smoking weed out of a little glass pipe. And so now all of a sudden that's a, a gun. I don't have any in a report filed by the Texas Ranger who investigated the shooting. Oh, the cops investigated the cops. Oh, now look, now this is what it was. Person said it felt like a small North American arms mini revolver or a pistol similar in size and style. From here, the situation. What a load of shit on a stick. You are lying. You are lying. The, the, a glass pipe down your pants does not feel like that gun. That is a lie. I just have the balls to say the truth publicly and out loud. That does not feel like this 22 revolver. You are a liar, an absolute liar. From here, the situation escalates. No, the situation didn't escalate. The jackboot thug pig lost control. I don't have anything on me. I don't have anything on me except the bulge in his pants that he adjusted with his hand before the officer searched him, which the officer believes is a weapon at the time. Going. Oh, what a load of shit. And now listen to the state-run media. Going frame by frame, Davis says Iverson's decision to shoot Randall was made when it appeared he was coming toward the deputy. You can see the suspect's knee. You can see the foot. Don't believe what you see with your own eyes that the man is clearly trying to run away from the cop. Believe the narrative by the cops. Don't believe what you can see. And he's not running away from the officer. He's not running to the left of the officer. He's not running to the far right of the officer. This appears as if he's running straight toward the officer. Oh, you're such a lying piece of shit, just like the pig. Initially, Now, that decision to fire was made at least 0.17 seconds before the officer actually discharged his pistol. And that's just the science of this situation. Get out! 
Davis says the fact that Iverson fired only one shot and then stopped after Randall ran the other way shows he only fired when he felt threatened, thinking Randall had a gun using the word fearful when describing the situation to a Texas Ranger and saying he didn't want to be caught on his knees with the actively resisting suspect. He was running that way. He looked at the cop. It's plain as day he's running away. With what he thought was a gun. They should not have to subject themselves to situations where the bullet actually has to be fired into their bodies or they have to be bludgeoned to death by a violent... No, 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 no. You're wrong, you cop-sucking piece of shit. They should have to face the fact where they could face real danger. It's called being brave and chivalrous. It should be based on our rights, upholding our rights and our safety, and you should be willing to sacrifice your life for our rights and our safety, or don't do the job. They shouldn't have to take a chance of being shot. No, that's exactly what they should do, day in and day out. You want to say, oh, I served my country for 25 years? He didn't serve, he served himself. He served himself for his pension, for his money, for, for, for his retirement, for his insurance. He didn't serve us at all whatsoever. And here's this piece of shit lawyer saying he shouldn't have to face being shot. Yes, he should. You should have to subject yourself to dangerous situations where you can be shot. That's a fact. Where the bullet actually has to be fired into their bodies. Oh, shut your mouth. Or they have to be bludgeoned to death by a violent... Bludgeoned to death? How many cops are getting bludgeoned to death? Violent criminal. Or they have to be stabbed before they can defend themselves. Months after the shooting, Iverson was no billed by a grand jury, meaning he was never charged with a crime. It's unclear if the grand jury ever saw this video because in Texas their proceedings are secret. The DA is the only one there with the grand jury. There's no judge. There's no there, there, there's there's no opposing counsel. It's just the DA and the grand jury. And the, the, the DA can give them facts and say, you think we should charge him with a crime? Doesn't even have to show him the video. We don't know. It's a Texas legislature loop that we have to be it has to be fixed in Texas. I mean, someone can find the legislation for this and it has to be changed. It has to become public. Randall's family is now suing in federal court for monetary damages. What I do here on Team DLZ is I teach you guys to have your license registration and proof of insurance in your trifold up on your visor. And then to make sure that you have it, I send you this fancy broccoli wad rubber band in the envelope with your trifold that I ship to you from Los Angeles or from Las Vegas. Then I teach you that you don't have any back and forth with the copper. You immediately pull out your license registration proof insurance and give it to him. He said, you blew that stop sign back there. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. That's the rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols that I teach you guys how to do. And I teach them to you because that's what they're doing to us.